For hundreds of years, the pirates have ruled over the Seven Seas. And although those times may be gone, the treasure still remains. And today, we're going on a quest to find One-Eyed Gash's lost treasure, with riches as far as you can see. And it's not gonna be easy. So that's why I brought you along with me. So pat in the hatches and get ready, Kathleen. Ah! Looks like I've crashed me ship and washed ashore, but at least I still got me map. So let's see where we need to go. Looks like the shipwreck knocked me head loose and I can't seem to read this here map. So let's go see if my cabin boy Jace can help me decipher this here pirate code. Good day, Kathleen. In spirit of all this pirate craze, I've decided to go around campus to test some of our students' knowledge of pirate lingo. Words such as privateer, scuttle, and hornswaggle. Let's go see what these landlubbers have to say. Privateer. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> to talk to someone in a different account privately? Like a private person that helps a captain? Privateers were basically pirates that were sponsored by governments. A lot of governments actually encouraged piracy as long as these pirates targeted, sunk, and looted the ships of enemy nations. Scuttle. To sink the ship. To sweep it. Blow it up. Uh, scuttle in a ship. Just wash it down, you know, scrape off the barnacles. Scuttle was a common word used by pirates often because it means to sink a ship. However, in today's world, scuttle means to intentionally sink a ship. And these ships are usually decommissioned Navy vessels and they're scuttled as an honorary berry. Horn swaggle. To beat somebody. Probably like attack them. Uh, dupe them trick them. If you were to hornswaggle somebody, you would cheat them out of something, usually money, whether it be in cards or in an agreement, both of which pirates often cheated. And there you have it, Kathleen. As expected, it isn't easy knowing words you've probably never heard of before. But hey, at least now you do. I hope you enjoyed watching and learning some pirate lingo with me. I'm Jace Johnson, reporting for Ignition TV. Have a beautiful and piratey day. A proper pirate needs supplies aplenty, whether it be me blade for chopping, me map for mapping, or me ship for sailing. All sorts of pirate artifacts are being found, even dating back to ye old days, and are being displayed at the world's largest pirate museum in St. Augustine. Now that we're so close to the treasure, I'll send my two trusted crewmates to help explain more. Tales of pirates and their treasures have been told across the seas for hundreds of years. But imagine a place where you can step in and not only see, but interact and explore as if you were a pirate yourself. Located here in St. Augustine, the Pirate and Treasure Museum, where there's over 800 different artifacts for you to learn all about. A wide range of guns, maps, and even treasure chests, some of which belong to real buccaneers, can be found within these four walls. So, let's sail into it. When you step inside, you will be immersed into over 300 years of pirating history. Through this experience, guests can simulate what life was like for pirates in Port Royal, Jamaica. And while they can't show us exactly how they lived, they come very close to it with all of their exhibits and artifacts. Some of which include learning how to steer a pirate ship, shoot cannons, and much more. Also lying in this very museum is one of the oldest pirate treasure chests known to man. Interactive activities as well as animated screens found throughout the museum help educate visitors of all the history there is to be discovered. Another huge part in pirate history took place right across the street from the Pirate Museum, and this is known as the Famous Fort. Many may have heard of this location, but what you probably don't know is that construction for it took way in 1672 as the result of a horrific pirate attack. The pirates who invaded left many buildings in ruins and many civilians dead. This prompted Spain to start rebuilding. Equipped with cannons nearly everywhere, no pirate was coming near St. Augustine ever again. With the pirates' disappearance, there are many artifacts found, and they now lay in the Pirate and Treasure Museum. Pirate fanatic or not, this unique establishment located at 12 South Castillo Drive is sure to have something that will pique your interest. Adult tickets cost $13.99, kids' tickets cost $6.99, and children four and under get in for free. 
They're open from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. daily. Their great pricing and hours makes this museum accessible to just about anyone. Unfortunately, now it has come time for us to walk the plank. I'm Rainy Holloway. And I'm Brianna McKinney. Reporting, reporting for Ignition, Ignition TV. The Kona Ice Truck will be here every other Thursday at dismissal between buildings 16 and 32. For $2 to $6, you can get shaved ice in your choice of flavor, and all these proceeds will go to help the Trident crew produce you a fantastic yearbook. Soccer trials are this Tuesday from 4 to 6 p.m., and if you can help it, leave your hooks at home. Please go see Miss Nicholson for more information. Shiver me timbers, could it be? These are the markings of ye mystic crew. Words on the waters are they've moved to Tampa Bay as part of a festival with danger around every corner. Now you ladies go check that out. I think I've found something here. Ahoy mateys, and welcome to the Seminole Hard Rock 2018 Gasparilla Invasion, an annual festival where the ye old mystic crew sail across the Seaton Channel through the treacherous waters of Hillsboro Bay. The fun really begins when the pirates come ashore, steal the key to the city, and then celebrate with a 4.5 victory parade through the streets of downtown Tampa. Whether you're a wee little lad or an experienced sea dog, Gasparilla has fun to offer for all ages. So let's walk the plank and dive right in. The Gasparilla Pirate Festival tracks way back to the ye old days of 1904. Every year, without fail, the freebooters of the Tampa Bay area invade the Hillsboro Bay, dock at the Tampa Convention Center, and then flood the streets of Tampa. To this day, the festival is one of the biggest events in the country, being the third largest parade in America. It's too late for you and your crew to attend Gasparilla, but without doubt, they'll be back next year with tons more loot. So be on the lookout for Gasparilla 2019. I'm Pirate Steven. And I'm Pirate Austin. Reporting for Ignition TV. At last! I finally found it! Hey! If you want to be treasure, you'll have to fight for it, man. If it's a fight you'll want, it'll be a fight you get. Ha! 